hey guys welcome to the student youtube channel today the focus is on the jam utme examination but before that if this is your first time on this channel please subscribe to this youtube channel and make sure to share our videos with your friends because we'll be sharing a lot of useful information for all students even graduates as well so let's go back to the topic of the day uh the utme examination I want to believe that um, everything is said for the conduct of the JAM UTME examination and I expect that by now all candidates including you listening to me now have prepared adequately for the exam. So about the examination, apart, aside from uh, you know registering for the examination and the battle of reading to prepare for all four subjects. Um, after that, the next battle is on the examination day. But before the examination day, I think the uh, examination slip printing will be on. So you have to make sure you print out your examination slip on time uh, so that you will be able to know where your examination schedule, the center you're posted to, the date and as well as the time. So these are very important details you have to note and be aware of and if possible you can as well visit the uh, CBT center prior to the date of the examination so that you know the place and it will be easier for you to locate that CBT center on the day of the examination to avoid prevent you from going to the exam very late and forfeiting the examination. So you have to you know take note of all these they're very important so about the examination day um the process involves being at the right uh, cbt center at the right time and going through the biometric verification this is very important ensure that your fingerprint is captured before entering the examination hall if not you won't be able to write the examination no don't forget no verification no examination so after verification I, the supervisors will come around to instruct you on what to do. They will instruct all candidates on the proceedings of the examination. So you have to follow the supervisor's instructions. So next, when you walk into the CBT examination hall, every step matters. Very important. And from um, finding your seat, using the seat number on your slip, uh, and entering your registration number, to start the examination to answering questions and ending the examination in time let's begin with entering your jam registration number so let's say you've already found your seats and the invigilators ask you to enter your registration number to the uh, computer you will type in your registration number into the text box on the screen you can see the text box on the screen there you written registration number that is where you type in your registration number to begin the examination note that before you start typing the number you have to move the cursor using your mouse move the cursor to the test box where you have registration number written there you move the mouse there and then click you left click not right please don't right click left click the side left side of the mouse that is where you're going to click to activate that test box so that when you type it the things you type will be entered in there so when you click on it you see that the cursor will be straight will be a uh, horizontal uh, vertical line and you start blinking then you are ready to type in your registration number so after correctly entering your registration number on the test box provided in there next step is to click on candidate login so when you click on candidate login it will log in it will load to the next page where you will see your picture your name registration number and the four subject you registered for on the left side of the screen then to, towards the right side is the keyboard usage for candidates that wants to use a keyboard instead of mouse to answer the questions then on this at the center of the page you find the examination instruction so you can read through this to find out what uh, you should do your conduct during the examination so when you're done with this page the next step will be to you proceed to the exam by clicking on the start button you can find the start button it's that exam button at the end bottom of the page so if you don't see it on that page you have to scroll down to the end of the page to find the start exam button so click on it to proceed to the examination 
Yeah, on the so when you click the start but exam button, it will open the examination page, and on that page you will find the first question of one of the four subjects you registered for. So you can either start with that particular question for the subject or you choose another subject based on your preference some people like to start with either english maths chemistry physics based it depends on the candidate so whatever your choice is you do that so if you want to start with the first question or subject that is open you can do that or you simply choose another subject you'll find the subjects at the top left corner of the screen you find the four subjects lined up there yeah then you can choose anyone you want to start with so after the last subject you find the calculator icon uh the calculator is for those solving uh, calculations and uh, subjects like maths physics chemistry so you may not need it if you don't have any calculation so if you need it you can simply click on it and the calculation will come up pop up and then you enter whatever you want to calculate and you get your answers so after that calculation to the far right corner you find the timer which indicates the time of your examination it will count down as time goes till you get to zero which is the end of the examination so be careful uh, don't always focus on the, uh, the time but also be aware of your time so you can check after some minutes after solving each questions to know what i mean after solving each subject to know what time is left for you to solve the rest on the right uh, side of the examination page you will see your picture your name your registration number your seat number and the details of the number of questions you've answered in a particular subject and in total so this shows your progress during the examination so these are the major features of the examination page. Uh, next is you start answering your questions. To answer questions uh, using the mouse, you simply move the uh, cursor to the right option, the, to the option you think is the right uh, answer. So you move it there and then click it. Now you, there is a small circle before the uh, text of the option. So you see it, it will be uh, shaded yeah the option will be shaded while others will be empty you see the circle the small circle before the options it will be shaded while others will be empty that is to indicate you've answered that particular question also there are boxes at the bottom of the page there indicating the question numbers that particular one will also turn the one you've answered the question you've answered will turn green now for some candidates they find it difficult to use the mouse if using the mouse is not convenient for you and it slows you down you can use the keyboard which is very easy too all you have to do is uh press a the button the button key a to pick option a press b for option b press c for option c press d for option d then to move to the next question you can press n to move to the next question and if you want to return to the previous question you simply have to press p to move to the previous question in case you want to scroll up and down the page you can use the up arrow key for to move up and the down arrow key to move downwards as you keep answering the question you will find out that uh, at the bottom of the page those red boxes indicating the question numbers will start turning green for the questions you've answered so each of those boxes will turn green for the questions you've answered that is to say that green box 6 indicates answered questions why the red buses will indicate what unanswered questions so that you know your progress if any of the buses in case you skip any question the bus will remain red to show you that you've not answered that particular question then when you're done you can come back to it and answer the question so when you're done answering all questions and you've cross-checked your answers and you're confident that you you have completed the question next thing is to submit so to submit your examination that is end exam for jam that's what they use there to submit your, your examination what you have to do is use your mouse using your mouse you, you move the cursor to where you have end exam tab which is usually at the top right corner of your screen so you click on end exam and then yes to confirm it so once you've done that you've submitted your examination and if you can't use the mouse like i said before you can also use the keyboard to end your examination all you have to do is you press s 
S as in submit, S to end exam. Then next thing you press Y to confirm that you want to what? Submit your examination and you are done with the examination. So from here, I think we are done with this. This is all I have for you today. From here, I wish you good luck in your examination. Please, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel and click on the like button. And don't forget to share this with your friend. It may help someone out there. Thank you very much for watching.